Hey guys, this is MC Mickey, and today I'm very excited to be bringing you a review of um, three pairs of uh, Golden Goose Deluxe brand sneakers. Now, this is a brand that was um, started in the year 2000. Um, it was uh, Francesca Ronaldo and Alessandro Gallo, um, two young Venetian designers uh, who were outsiders to the world of fashion who basically began this uh, really cool um, brand, kind of skateboarding roots. Um, I think the whole ethos and the messaging is extremely high quality um, that looks very carefree and, and that even looks dirty. I think, you know, these sneakers are the epitome of the kind of dirty sneaker, used sneaker kind of out of the box feel, even though they're completely new. So, you know, without further ado, let me show you um, a few of their, their sneakers. You know, they, they, they come in this box, this blue box that says uh, sneakers. Uh, GGDB stands for Golden Goose Deluxe Brand. These are all made in Italy. Um, you know, they're most, they have several different styles of shoes, but their most popular style is one called the Superstar. And that's the one I'll show you now. So, you know, inside the box comes with, um, you know, beautiful uh, packaging. It comes with a shoe bag as well, if I can find it. Here it is. So it comes with a little little shoe bag here that says GGDB sneakers. It's, it's actually a, a nice touch that they, um, that, the, that the shoe bag tie Baby blue is the same as the the the, the star color here. Um, anyways, um, so it's got a pair of shoe bags for when you're traveling, and and here are the sneakers. I mean, this is completely new, out of the box, and you can see the you, you can see the kind of um, the dirty finishing. You know, it's got gray laces. Um, this is. Uh, this is leather on the outside, okay? Um, it's a blue star, it's a leather star as well. Sometimes the star is suede. Uh, the, um, I guess the tongue of the shoe is suede. So that actually provides a nice contrast. So you have, you know, beautiful leather, uh, white leather and, and baby blue um, star and, and heel detailing. And here you can see this is, uh, says Golden Goose Deluxe Brand. And you just see the kind of, the, the finishing on, on, on the shoe. It's, every shoe's unique as well. So, you know, I've seen shoes out of the box that are much dirtier than this. See, there's no mark on the star here. Sometimes there's like a mark on the star. Um, I mean, you see the, the writing here, Golden Goose Deluxe Brand, S Star, Superstar. So this is their Superstar shoe. It looks, looks kind of like a, a Chuck Taylor. I mean, it's, it's a much nicer shoe than a Chuck Taylor. You know, first of all, the materials, it's all kind of high quality leather and, and, and suede. And I, I think, you know, the, the other key thing to, to emphasize is inside of the shoe, the pad, it's not just some, you know, very thin cotton uh, padding. It's actually a beautiful leather insole that actually is, is elevated. So let me pull this out. Like, you know, if you, each one of these actually has a, has a lift, has a heel. This is about like, uh, you know, almost an inch, probably not quite an inch, but it's, uh, it's, it's a genuine leather, um, genuine leather uh, insole, okay? And it actually feels beautiful, smells great. Um, and it, it, gives, it gives the shoe a little boost. Um, you, you can see on the inside, it's absolutely clean finishing. Okay, remarkably clean. Um, the, the finishing is, is very high quality. Even though this looks scuffed up and kind of, you know, used, you know, that's, that's the whole beauty and premise of the shoe. It's like, it's, it's supposed to look worn in right, right when you get it, even though it's absolutely new. I mean, you can see the wrinkling, the creasing in, in the leather. You know, a lot of people might think this is a gimmick, but uh, I mean, I, 
I, I see the appeal. I mean, it's not easy to make something look worn. And, you know, the, the comfort of the shoe is second to none. And just look at the styling. So these shoes come in a whole bunch of different styles. Um, you know, the, the different variations are, uh, you know, number one is the color of the star. Let me put this insole back in. So they always come out with different di different colors of the uh, of the star and, and heel combination, um, different materials. Um, you know, sometimes this is all leather here. Um, you know, they have something called the distressed leather that looks even more distressed than this. Um, you know, right out of the box, uh, the sh the the shoelaces are different colors sometimes. Uh, let me pull out the other shoes just so you can see it. Um, here here's here's the other shoe. You know, it's the marks that are just at different places, right? It's, uh, yeah, I think the gray is a beautiful matching with the, the gray suede of the tongue and a nice contrast to the, to the white leather and, and, and the blue star. This is one of my favorite colors that, color combinations that I've seen. You know, a lot of them are, you know, they have yellow, navy blue. I, I just found this baby bright blue to, to just really stand out in terms of, uh, in, in terms of both, uh, you know, ver versatility and also just, just, just beauty. I mean, uh, you know, you don't want, not everyone has a baby blue colored pair of shoes, right? Look at that detailing. And this is all completely new. I, I, I you know, they, they, they hand finish some of these, uh, to, to, to get this uh, looking like it was a, a well-loved pair of shoes. And again, this is very high quality leather. You, you can kind of see, see the creasing here. Um, and inside is that really high quality uh, leather, leather insole that, that, that's actually a little bit of a lift. So they actually be taller in these shoes by, you know, close, close to an inch, I, I think. Um, and, and it, the, here's some more detailing on the, um, the tongue. So these are made in Italy. So made in Italy, and what else does it say? Size blank. So that, that, that's just a really cool detail. I don't know if you're supposed to fill it in or not, but it's, uh, it's just something unique, you know? The, the sole of the shoes are different as well. Sometimes they're, you know, a nude color. Um, this is, you know, black color. But um, you know, it's a it's a treaded sole. You know, finishing looks looks fine, right? Like I think this shoe, the the the, the quality of craft. I mean, this is a five hundred dollar shoe as well. So you you'd expect the quality U.S. dollars. You'd expect the the craftsmanship to be to be up there. Um, you know, it's actually a very comfortable tongue if you if you look inside. You know, this is um, kind of a cushion material there. So anyways, this is, uh, this is pair number one I wanted to share with you, the baby blue and, and an overview of the shoe. Yeah, there, there's some, some air holes in here. What this really reminds me of is, it's just the carefree younger days, right? It's like, you know, it's a, it, it's a, it's a pair of shoe that, that really appeals to, um, I guess millennials, but people in the 30s, 40s, plus, it's it's something that can remind you of your youth in, in a much nicer and more luxurious form. This is a luxurious shoe, don't get me wrong. I mean, uh, you know, it might look dirty, but this is the look that's in. I mean, Gucci came out with a pair of dirty shoes, um, right? They're, they're dirty sneakers. But I think they got inspiration from the Golden Goose Deluxe brand because, um, yeah, the, these guys were around since 2000. Celebrities love it, um, you know, people in Asia love it, Tokyo, you know, it's getting popular in China. I'm in Los Angeles now and, you know, this is just, you know, I got stopped in the elevator and, you know, another guy was wearing Golden Goose shoes and he was like, hey, nice shoes. I'm like, yeah, you too. Uh, so this, this is the first pair here. The second pair, this is a pair I already opened before. This, uh, I, I own this pair. This is a unique pair. I didn't wear this many times, maybe like a couple times. Um, you know, one other thing I forgot to mention is uh, that the way they tie their laces, 
So the, the lace up is, you know, just the standard crisscross lacing. This one has no uh, knot there, but, but the one of the laces has actually a knot there. So I think that's just the way they, they lace up the shoe. But I, uh, I actually really like this pair of shoes. Um, this is, uh, they call it some high tech material. Okay. Um, I, I don't quite know what it is. It looks like some kind of maybe coated canvas, but uh, you know, really this is a silver colored with a, a little bit of a shine, depending on the angle you look at. Okay, it's got this beautiful Golden Goose Deluxe brand detailing with a, a four-fifth star. So you see the stars cut off um, just a little bit over here. I just think that's so cool. And, and this star actually has some scuffing on it, and that scuffing was completely original. Okay, so that was what is annoying a little bit about the um, other pair of shoes. You know, this star is completely perfect. There's no scuffing on it. And I wish there was like a, a mark on this thing. Um, like if you look at some of the website, uh, the website pictures, there is like a, a mark on some of the stars and it, it just makes it look more authentic. Uh, not authentic, but just more actually worn in, you know? Um, you know, same kind of, uh, you know, very, you know, genuine leather insole, you know, thick, thick insole. Um, this one, you know, you can see the the heel is is this silver color. It's uh, you know very nice. Um, and yeah, like this was all original kind of dirtiness. This one's more dirty than the previous pair. Uh, again, I've only worn this a couple times, so I didn't get it this dirty. This was kind of natural finishing, which which is pretty pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, I like this pair because it has these air pockets in the front. Remember the other one was a suede kind of, not not plain, but you know it's just different because um, this this pair is you know they're, they're, it's a suede, so it's a nice contrast to the actual leather. Um, and you know this pair actually has these air holes in, in the front there. Um, actually, you know what? <laughs> it would be so cool to go out in in these two pairs just. Yeah, these two different pairs as, as, as an outfit. I think that'd be so cool. Um, anyway, so, so you can see the bottom color is different. The bottom color is just more uh, beige nude color. But same same kind of pattern. You know, there's, there's some treading on here. I guess that helps with the grip. Um, yeah, I, I just think it's a really high quality shoe. It's, uh, here, here's the other one. You know, same detailing on the star. Look at this. That's that's beautiful. This star is suede. Remember the other one? The star was leather. So this star is suede. So yeah, this star is is, is leather, and you know suede. And then you know, material the same same. I think it's a coated canvas. I I can't tell for sure. It, it, on the website they call it a high tech material. But this is such a unique shoe. I mean, it's not suede. You know, there's leather highlights. This is all leather here. But this this material is just uh, is it, so beautiful and it's versatile. I like that the laces are gray and not white. Um, I think it's it's a differentiation factor. I think if you look at the, a lot of the Adidas Stan Smith shoes, they're they're so they're they're so white, you know. They're so plain. Um, I think uh, this shoe is more edgy. It's um, more stylish. It, it, it has more of, of an attitude. And I think when you really relate to the brand, you know, what this brand stands for to me is I don't give a shit. You know, it, it just stands for I can afford nice things and I want to look like, you know, I just don't give a, you know, don't give, I just don't care what other people think. I want to wear what I think looks cool and feels comfortable. And I think that that that's really, really, you know, a nice a nice message. It's a kind of a carefree, um, capricious kind of um, very light style that I think is suitable um, for, for for many environments. And, and and look, this has the same, uh, you know, inside here. I forgot. I don't know if I showed you the detail on the other shoe, but I think it says uh, for skateboarding use only. 
Okay, what does it say? For skateboard use only, not designed for other activities. Okay, it is very fun. Very fun, kind of carefree kind of brand. Okay, I, I got one more pair to show you and then, uh, and then I'm done. So here's the other brand, I mean, it comes in the same sneakers, um, baby blue shoe box. And, uh, yeah, this one, yeah, you got the shoe bag on file. Okay, this is, uh, this is a special edition from uh, this from S Sense. Uh, S S E N S E is a luxury retail store um, based out of uh, Canada, and they they have a special collaboration with Golden Golden Goose. Does it with a few different retailers. I think Nordstrom, um, Saks. Um, but anyways, this is uh, this is an all leather shoe, so you can tell like you know, this is. Um, be be beautiful leather. It says Golden Goose Deluxe brand private edition. Okay, it's the S sense I was talking about. Same kind of worn in look. It's a completely new shoe. Okay, this one's a little bit plainer. It's just a white kind of heel um, area. And uh, you know, this is an all leather shoe. So here, remember in the blue one, it was suede. Uh, this is just all leather. Here's the original scuff marks. You know, right there. The differentiation about this shoe is it's the blue laces. Okay, it's navy blue laces. It's very nice. It matches with the, the blue star. There's some scuffing on the star. Actually, yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not there. Um, it's just, th this shoe just gets better with age as well. Um, you know, look at it. Let me show you the other pair. Yeah, this is... You'll, you'll never be worried about getting this shoe dirty either because it's it, it comes like this already you know i think out of these three pairs my favorite one is the baby blue one um uh, bring it out again it's the baby blue one it's so cool you know you got the suede here contrast matching gray laces i just love this baby blue color um, this is, you know, a little bit lower key. It's beautiful, all leather. Um, can't go wrong with this one either. And, you know, this one actually kind of matches a little bit with uh, this guy. Uh, I think this navy is, is similar. And the star is suede as well. So this is a suede kind of star. That's the only part that's suede. Um, the rest of the shoe is leather. Um, same really thick kind of uh, insole. Look at that. That that gives you a lift. But I think this in, it's just a it's just a really comfortable insole to step on. It's like genuine leather. Okay. And inside you can see it's it's perfectly clean. This is this is a really high quality shoe. Uh, I like this shoe because it, this is a gold kind of a little tag here. And, and maybe you can see it clear here, but you know, for skateboarding use only. Not designed for other activities. Uh, anyways, that, that's my quick review on an unboxing of a few of these Golden Goose shoes. Um, and I hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this, is, this has quickly become one of my favorite um, brands of shoes. And uh, you know, I, I wear these very often, especially on the weekends. Um, and uh, no complaints whatsoever. Extremely comfortable, extremely stylish. Um, you can get these on sale. So, you know, I would say that, you know, if you really liked it and you saw it on full price, you can go for it. But, you know, watch out for some uh, holiday sales from sites like S-E-N-S-E-S-Sense. -S -E um, you know, Golden Goose has, has an outlet store in, in New York as well. They can ship, you know, across the States. So that would definitely be something I'd look at. And, um, 
you know, some of the other uh, big retailers like Nordstrom, Saks, they could have um, point sales or, or whatever um, as well. Um, so I would highly encourage you to look at uh, Wait for the Right Time. Um, there, there's a website called therealreal.com um, and they uh, sell um, previously owned merchandise but uh, a lot of times it's almost just like new and I seen some Golden Goose um, items on, uh, on their website as well. So these are all different ideas for where you can source these. Um, but I, th I think that uh, you know these are definitely a keeper, a huge upgrade from the Converse Chuck Taylors, and um, yeah, I I, I couldn't be, be be happier with these, and I'm very happy to to share with you guys um, about uh, some of my uh, Golden Goose collection. So I, I hope you enjoyed this, and, and if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel, and um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And uh, if you want to see any uh, future reviews on Golden Goose, you know, if you want to see how they look on me or uh, if you want to see any other um, items uh, for, for review. I have many other items in the collection. Okay, cheers.